friends, but Mama Fox here. Um, but first of all, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you are new um, to my channel, I am a stay-at-home mom of a, a one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, and I post informative videos about motherhood and a budget-friendly lifestyle. So if that's your jam, click like and subscribe because that's really good for the Facebook algorithm. Now in this video, I'm actually in my daughter's nursery. You can kind of see her right, right here. Yeah, um, that's little Natalie. Yep, guess say hi. Hello. <laughs> but she's kind of a ham, but for the most part, I um, I try to keep her in the background but until she's able to actually say she wants to be on YouTube herself, you know. But she's just a baby, so so I kind of respect her privacy at this point. But yeah, anyway, um, and um, but this video, I um, I'm gonna be comparing the differences between the Ubi Diaper Pail and, and the Diaper Genie. Because when I was pregnant, I did a ton of research about the Ubi Diaper Pail and, and the Diaper Genie. And, and, and in the end, I decided to go with the Ubi Diaper Pail for various reasons. And, and I'm sure there, there's a lot of other moms trying to make the same decision I, um, the same decision I, I had to make. Um, but I guess the main differences between the Diaper Genie and this Ubi Diaper Pail is this is actually stainless steel, which is actually really nice because it doesn't hold odors the same way the plastic Diaper Genie can. And um, but also, these Ubi Diaper Pails come in various pretty colors. But this one is like a marbly kind of color, as you can see. Which is kind of nice because single women might might not understand this, but but when you're a mom, but you like any little thing that makes you feel like an adult, and this pretty little diaper pail that actually makes me feel like more of an adult as opposed to just simply the mother of my child, if that makes any sense. So yeah, um, I kind of like, uh, but that the Ubi diaper pail comes in various colors and various patterns. Um, but I actually, oh yeah. But say hi, Natalie. Hi back there. <laughs> but yeah, um, but I've had um, I've had experience with the diaper genie as well. Um, before my daughter was born, and um, but I'd say um, but I'd say it's pretty pretty easy to use. Um, but there's a lot of videos where you can look up exactly the whole process. But um, but kind of basically, the diaper genie has a, a foot pedal, and um. When you hit the foot pedal, it kind of opens up, and um, when it opens up, you can drop the uh, diaper in. But what's the diaper? It's actually in the diaper genie. Um, but, but I think it kind of twists or something, and um, but that's supposed to supposedly um, kind of lock in the odors. But um, the um, kind of main difference with the diaper genie is, but you have to keep buying these special bags to put into the diaper genie, and yeah, that can really add up over over the period of your child being in diapers. Because this one is about $30 more, kind of give or take, than, than the Diaper Genie. But, but as with any uh, baby purchase, you always, have to fit, you always have to factor how much this will cost you over the life, hi Natalie, but, um, um, but over the life of the baby product. And but over the life of the baby product, the Diaper Genie will end up costing you a lot more money. Now, um, if I tried, um, if I tried to do some research on um, exactly how much these special bag um, the, the cartridges will cost you but over the life of the Diaper Genie, and, and that information is a little bit hard, hard to find because diaper size makes a difference and the size of the diaper obviously kind of makes a difference. But the information I, um, I did find was on a channel called Dadverb and, and, um, but he, and, and, um, and, um, but he owns a diaper genie. Okay. <laughs> but I think she wants some puffs, so one second. But where was I? Oh yeah, um, but, but kind of based on what I found out from watching the the channel Dad Verb, um, 
but he said over the course of his son being being in diapers the the cartridges cost him just under four hundred dollars so yeah that is a lot to spend on just little bags and this but ubi diaper pail can take just regular bags so but that was the main um, for deciding factor for me deciding to get this one instead of just the plastic diaper genie, but that takes these uh, special cartridges. And also, the kind of person I am, if I can just imagine myself with this dirty diaper and thinking, oh no, I don't have any the cartridges. So, um, but so much easier to um, but just know, but that this ubi diaper pail, but can take bags just from the pantry like any other garbage can and um like another uh plus with the ubi diaper pail is it's also compatible if you are cloth diapering because you just have to put your uh, cloth diaper inside of the diaper pail and like it works just like a regular trash bag and here i kind of show you how the whole system works you see it has this little um handle for for so putting in the diaper, you just kind of slide that back, you know, drop the diaper in there very quickly, close the door, and you are good to go. Now to change the bag or to empty the bag, you just pop up the big lid. If I can do that right now, ah, there we go. Um, that comes up pretty easily, actually. But yep, you just kind of pull up the whole thing, and this is where you would just put put a regular bag. See, you just kind of feed it up through here. You put it in. And you close it, just like so. So it's a very uh, simple process. The point also, um, but this diaper G, um, I can also, this Ubi pail is very easy to clean. Um, the, the, I just use um, the, like a scrubbing bubbles, spraying disinfectant. Um, but for the most part, I kind of like to use more natural cleaners. But for her diaper pail, yeah, I just use the, the um, kind of regular uh, scrubbing bubble disinfectant to just kind of spray the whole thing. Spray the top, spray underneath, spray inside. And then I let it sit for like five minutes or so and just kind of wipe it down. Um, the buck I know with the, um, the diaper genie. But since it's plastic, it definitely holds the odors more. And and, and if it's like a really uh, nice uh, day out, I can even um take this diaper pail outside to kind of ventilate. So, but I think because it's stainless steel, but it kind of makes a um a big difference in odor control, kind of based on the uh, plastic uh, diaper genie. Um, but I wouldn't say um, but this smells good. I mean, it's still a diaper pail, but. <clears throat> But because it is so, um, so easy to clean and a stainless steel, um, I think the odor control is a lot better than the, um, the diaper genie. And plus, there is this little O, uh, o ring, as you can see. See, there's, 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 there's like a little O, o ring inside of here, and um, but that also kind of traps in the odors. So yeah, when all is uh, said and done, I would definitely recommend the Ubi Diaper Pail over the Diaper Genie because as I see it, the um, kind of Diaper Genie is just a really good kind of business model. <laughs> um, I'm um, but not quite sure the um, kind of person who like, invented the Diaper Genie, but I'm pretty sure they retired a very rich person because it is an ingenious business, because it is an ingenious business model. You. You sell one one kind of product, and then, and then for years and years, that same customer keeps coming back to buy the refills time and time again. And over the course of your baby being in diapers, you spend an extra what five hundred dollars. Um, and the, like another good uh, thing with the Ubi diaper pail is the Ubi diaper pail has this lock right right here. Um, but it's just like a twisting kind of lock, as you can see, and that the lock is set, the, um, the diaper hatch will not open. Which is a really good idea because my daughter being um, but one and a half has just realized that this can actually open and close whenever she wants to. So um, the, I don't know why that's such an interest to her, but it is. So I just simply lock up the hatch and now it cannot open and she can't get to her dirty diapers. But so once again, um, but, 
But thank you for stopping by my channel and kind of seeing my daughter in the background. Yeah, she's kind of out of her snacks right now, so this has to get a refill. But yeah, um, but if you like what you see, just... Here you go, sweetie. Oh, yes, here. Do you want a little toy? Do you want a little toy? There you go. <laughs> but if you like what you see, just click like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.